Hi guys, I'm going to try to show how to move custom created ringtones from iPhone to my new Android phone, which in this case is uh, HTC Evo. So this is my old iPhone. I don't need it because uh, the ringtones are already on my computer. So uh, right now you'll see that on my Evo, if I go to settings, sorry, if I go to settings sound and I go to phone ringtone, I just have re these regular standard uh, ringtones. No, nothing special. No special uh, ringtones. So, in order to copy my ringtones for my computer, I'm going to go to my libraries, my music actually. I'm going to search for M4R, which is the ringtone format for iPhone. Let me just do the different display list. Okay. So I have several uh, I have several ringtones here. I'm going to try to transfer them to my uh, Evo Android. I'm connect, going to connect it and make sure it's connected as a disk drive so I'll be able to access my SD card and now let me leave it there I have I will see it here, let me open it in another window okay, so I'm going to do this and this so now I have my SD card here now, I need to have in order to transfer or uh, transfer any ringtones to the SD card, I need to have a folder called media. This is in the root of the SD card. Under media, I have to have a folder audio. Under audio, I have to go to ringtones. So these three have to be there in order to transfer these. Uh, remember, media, audio, ringtones. So that's what I really need for this. Next, I will select the ones holding the control button. Select the ones that I really want, which is laughter for my daughter, which is cows mooing, incoming star message, ring my bell, kiss and sultans a swing. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's do another, let's do black magic woman. That's seven, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and move them over, drag and drop into the SD card ringtones folder under audio under media. Okay, now that they're copied, I have to go and change extension or every single one from M4R to M4A, otherwise, your phone will not recognize it. Note that uh, your computer will most likely ask you, Are you sure? Of course, you are. And so I continue with all these. F2 to change it and then M4. In order to change the extension you have to have extensions visible that is configurable under folder options. I'm not going to show you that. I assume that you have some level of technical skills to do that. Otherwise you may be dangerous. So don't do this unless you're sure and comfortable of what you're doing. So I am now finished renaming my files from M4R to, to M4A and they are already on my uh, card so what I'm going to do I'm just going to disconnect this I'm going to go to computer right click eject and then I go here and I do, instead of this drive, I do charge only. And done. And now, that should be it. Uh, if I go to my menu, my settings, and my sound, I choose phone ringtone. See, I have now these new these new ringtones like Black Magic Woman. 
I have the cows mowing. I have the priority one. Priority one message from Starfleet coming in on secure channel. I have my daughter's laughter. I have my default ringtone. So anyways, that proves the point. I was able to transfer my iPhone ringtones in a couple of steps. It's really easy. Number one, find your ringtones on your hard drive. They have an extension with M4R, this extension of M4R. Then you move them to your SD card under folder ringtones under audio under media and then you select your ringtone on your phone's settings. That's it. Thank you for watching.